Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do remote creeper bomb commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is that these commands will allow you to give you a special item that summons in, well, remote creeper bombs and also a special item that allows you to ignite creepers instantly without the need for flint and steel. Now, before we go into more detail on how those commands work guys, you know the drill, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let's begin today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here, so these two are for the cre remote creeper bombs, but then the main one is how you can make them ignite are over here. And I'll explain what this, these two are over here, and as always, all of these commands here will be in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let's begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this all works. So, we got this remote creeper spawn egg right here. And also, I need to turn this on. And we got some two interesting items here. We got a remote creeper detonator and a super remote creeper detonator, which I'll explain how those work as we go. So I'm going to flick both of these on. And first off, we're going to summon in a remote creeper bomb. So they just look like normal creepers, but with just the, the tag here. So watch what happens when I right click using this carrot on the stick name, remote creeper detonator. So 3, 2, 1. You saw that the creepers exploded instantly. And I wasn't even near them to use a flint and steel or anything. I just literally right clicked with this item. And they exploded on command and you can do this with like multiple creepers just saying the thing is whichever when you explode creepers it's going to explode the first one you spawned in so for example this was the first one I spawned in so it's gonna explode that one first and then it's going to explode this one later so I've made it so that they only explode one at a time but as we or as I show you the commands later, I can show you how you can do multiple at once if you want to later. But for now, I think it's better that they worked only one at a time. Okay, so now that you see that, let's go over. Now I'll show you the super remote creeper detonator. So this is a very interesting one. So hold on, let me lure the creeper away from the command block so it doesn't explode any of anything. So when you use this one... This one is not only going to make it explode, but again, why does the creeper keep coming towards the stuff, which I do not want it to. Okay, so when you use it, it's not only going to to ignite them or make them explode, but it turns them into a charged creeper and explodes them that way. So, so with the super remote creeper detonator, you can basically make them explode even bigger just by turning them first into a charge creeper and then exploding them. So, if you want a bigger boom, then this is the way to do it. Turn them into a charge creeper and then kaboom. And also, so it's a good way for you to get free creeper heads. Because when you explode a charge creeper near a normal creeper, it gives them their head. So if you need to always farm their heads, then now you can. Okay, let me just put this stuff back the way it was. Get rid of this, and let me just put this creeper head down. Just because, why not? And that's pretty much all there is to it with these uh, items right here. So now that we've seen that, let me flip all of these off. So I can go over the commands for it. So we're going to start over here, and then make our way to the detonators later. So first off, the remote creeper spawning. You guys have surely seen this in many of my videos before, but... So the beginning part is... When the egg named Remote Creeper Spawn Egg is selected, it's going to run this. Execute as at E, type egg, at S, run, summon, Minecraft, area, underscore, effect, underscore, cloud, the three squiggly lines, and inside the curly brackets, duration, two seconds, tag, with creeper, underscore, spawner. So that's the first part. And then this one has the same first bit when the egg is selected, it's going to... Execute as at E type equals Minecraft colon area underscore effect underscore cloud. Tag equals creeper underscore spawner at S unless entity at E 
type equals egg distance dot dot three and then it's going to run summon creeper with the custom name remote creeper ball and that's how this uh, the egg thing works which i've done in many of my videos before so now let's get on to how the detonators work so first off you need a command that activates a certain scoreboard so you need to do scoreboard objectives add carrot minecraft dot used colon minecraft dot carrot underscore on underscore a underscore stick so that's how you can we need a scoreboard so that every time i right click the carrot on stick it will do its thing so now here is where you activate the right clicking function for the carrot on the stick so it's when the carrot on the stick name remote creeper detonator is selected it's going to run this scoreboard players set at E inside brackets scores equal inside squeeze brackets carrot equals one dot dot and then close all brackets and then carrot zero at the end. And same thing over here for this one except you just we just need to have the super remote creeper selected. Now here is the new command that I have never shown before, so that's why I have to sign in red. So here's how the I made it so that you make the creepers explode instantly. So it's data merge entity at E type equals creeper limit equals one. So that makes it so that they'll explode one at a time or give this tag one at a time. Name equals remote creeper bombs. And then we give it the the MBT tag called ignite colon one. That this is the tag that makes them explode instantly. So, so, so basically, with that command, if you give it to a current creeper that is already in your Minecraft world, and you hadn't used any spawn eggs. When you give it that tag, it'll just make them explode instantly. So, so that's why I made it so that when you right-click this, it gives them that tag, thus making them explode. And the same thing is done over here, except we added another tag, which is powered colon one this makes them so that they turn into a charge creeper and then we do ignite one so that way it turns into a charge creeper and explodes at the same time so again if you wanted to do more than one at a time you can just remove the limit one tag i believe actually no you cannot because it doesn't let me do that so you can only do them one at a time but it still works very effectively i think I think you should be able to, you should be able to like, if you click multiple times with multiple creepers, they should explode all at once, for the most part, let me try. No, you can only, you have to wait until one of them finishes exploding first before you can explode the next creeper. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. You can only do one at a time. But still very effective in the end. And yeah, that is pretty much remote creeper bombs in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye.